Okay, so some of you are now trying to get the content you've got off of Blackboard and into your Moodle, your new Moodle sites. Um, one of the things I've been asked a lot is how we can get all the content off Blackboard easily instead of saving each file individually. Um, and I'll show you a way to do that. I'm in a, a course here called Web Design. It's got 10 weeks here and there's lots of different course materials in each week. So I want to save all this off and also there's a section external links I want to save off. Um, what I could do is go into each single folder and save every individual file but that's going to be a long process. So the easiest way to do this and then to get it back in your in your Moodle site is you first of all go to control panel and you choose archive course down the bottom here. Now remember this is the control panel of the course from which you want to take the files. Okay, so once you've clicked the archive course, you, become, you come into this export archive manager. And what I need to do is click this archive button. Now I don't want this grade, grade center history. All I want is the documents. So I'll untick that and then I'll go down the bottom right and click submit. So what this says is the action has been successfully queued, an email will be sent when the process is complete. So you've just got to wait a couple of minutes and you should get an email through that tells you that the archive is complete. Okay, I've received my email now to tell me that uh, my zip file is ready. And we can see it here, archive file, and then a big long list of numbers and stuff is relating to the course, uh, the course codes. To save this, because I need to save this into my file area, so I just left click it. And I get the option, do you want to open or save this file? And we want to save it. So I'll save it somewhere on top of the desktop so it's easy to see. Now you notice it's got a big long name down here. What I can do is just change this name to something a bit more recognizable. So I'm going to call it Web Design. Okay, so I've saved this file to my desktop. Now this is now a zip file. Um, the one thing to be careful with here, if I try and upload this zip file into my Moodle course in the same way that we were uploading zip files we'd created ourselves in the previous video, then Moodle is going to struggle with that. It, it will understand that, so we've got to use a different tool um, to do this. So the next thing we've got to do is go to Google. If you go to Google and type in Be Free Blackboard Tool. Okay, so it's be free, all one word, letter B and then free, Blackboard tool, and do a search for that. And you should see this one coming up, be free, extract Blackboard content. So you want to choose that one and click into there. Okay, so we've now got website come up here and we choose the information and download section here. And then once we're on this page, we need to scroll down and there should be an orange button down here where it says launch and we need to click on that. Now what this does is launch, launch a thing called the Java applet. It's a, it's a, it's a little program that, um, that's been created. It's best to have the updated, the, your updated version of Java on your machine if you don't have that. So I'm going to launch that and I'll run it. And this is the program that we get. Okay. So now what I need to do is bring my zip file that we created from the Blackboard course into this program. So I'm going to go up in the top left corner and go to File. And then Open an Archive Zip. I now need to find the zip file I created before, which is this webdesign.zip, and open that. And it'll say processing up at the top and then you should get your course structure here. So you recognize this from the Blackboard page. We've got the course name here, the web design. Um, we've got announcements, course information, staff information, etc. All I want is these 10 weeks off of here, the web links there and that external links folder. So what I'm going to do is just untick the top box and that will just clear all the other boxes. And then I just go along the course materials one and tick into there. And I go along the external links one and tick into there. 
I could go down and narrow things down and say, you know, I don't want the HTML box maybe, but I do want the flash one, so I could untick and tick here, but I just want everything underneath external links. So I'm now going to go to File and Extract as Files and Folders. Okay. Now you'll notice here what it's done. That's just the address for my desktop. So that would create different files on my desktop, different folders, one called course materials, one called external links. But what I want to do is just just do another slash and give it another name. Um, so you're creating a new folder to put all this information into. So I'll just call it Blackboard Content. And then save that. So it now processes again while it extracts all that. And if we now go to my desktop, we should be able to see a folder, Blackboard Content, and in here we've got our two folders and we can see all the different files and stuff in there you see okay it's this folder that the be free tool has made that we can now turn into a zip folder and upload to moodle in the way that we did before so this is my desktop here so i need to find this one here which is blackboard content i right click over it and go to send to compressed zip folder so you can see here, this has created a zip file called blackboardcontent.zip. Okay, so we'll go back into Moodle now. So I'm in my Moodle course. Here's my test site here. I'm going to upload these into my test site just as a demonstration. So I'll go to files down the bottom left corner here. Upload a file. I will need to browse for that. Again, it's on my desktop, so it's called Blackboard Content. Dot zip, which is that one there. So I'll open that and click upload this file. So we now see the file here, Blackboard Content dot zip, and we have the option here to unzip it. So I'm going to do that unzip there. Okay, so it's unzipped all those folders and files, but it's kept the same structure as it had before. So we should just see one folder here, and then we click into this. We've got two folders, course materials and external links, and so on. We've got the 10 weeks there. So I need, I need to put this into my course. So let's say in this topic one here is going to be my week one folder of resources. So I'm going to display directory. This is just like we did before in the previous video. So I'm going to say week one documentation, I'll call it that. And so the file directory I want to choose, it's going to be course materials. But you can see here all of these are course materials useful web links, which was a different folder. So I now just need to scroll down and find this one here. So it's Blackboard Content Course Materials Week 1. And I can select that. I'll save and return to my course. And now when I change to a student role, you can see they can see this Week 1 documentation. They click into there. And they've got the three things that are available in week one. And so that's how to get a lot of Blackboard content out of Blackboard quite easily and then upload it all to Moodle.